Hey coach, today I'm sharing how you can use Paperbell to schedule your discovery calls and your coaching sessions with your clients. Right now you might be using a standalone calendar scheduler like Calendly or Acuity, but if you're ready to move on to an all-in-one tool that handles the scheduling as well as the payments and the client management in your business, then this video is for you. Be sure to stay till the end of this video where I'm going to share how you can gain access to my client onboarding planner for free. In case we're meeting for the first time, hi, I'm Sade Johnson and I'm the tech strategist and YouTuber for coaches. I focus on helping you with the behind the scenes tech stuff like the systems and automations so you can finally ditch the tech overwhelm and get more clients with ease. So if that sounds like what you need, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are logged into your Paperbell dashboard. In the last video, I did explain how to create a package, and that's important because your scheduling links re reside inside of your packages. So if you wanted to create a link for someone to book a discovery call with you, you would actually be creating a package to uh, a package that's called discovery call and it would be for zero dollars or if you do charge for your discovery call it can be whatever amount you've decided to charge so let's go ahead and click on packages and you can see that we've already created a test package if you if you watched the last video this was called test client which was an error <laughs> so i updated it to say test package and i also created a free discovery call so if you want someone to book a call with you and you want to provide the link to them all you have to do is click he, uh, click on the package then you're going to go over here to the right to sharing click on that and here is the scheduling link that you can can share with them and I'm going to go ahead and cl um, click on preview and so when you provide when they click on this link they're going to be taken to this page which explains it's a free discovery call um, this is my name Shade Johnson and it's 30 minutes and this is going to be the availability now let me go over how you set your availability for your calls so if you go up here to availability, here is your calendar and this is where you're going to set your um, time blocks that you're available for your different packages. So as you can see, I've already set time on every Wednesday from 10 to 3 p.m. So let's go ahead and add some additional availability. So I'm gonna go up here. You can either click the add availability plus button up here or you can hover over individual dates and there's gonna be a plus sign that comes up and you can click that as well and it'll take you to the same page. So let's say um, in addition to my Wednesdays, I also want to do Monday calls from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. So I would click here for the start time and do 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And if I wanted this to repeat every Monday, so right now it's going to be set for just the next um, the next date. But if I wanted this to repeat every Monday, I'm going to click on repeats and then click on Monday. I'm going to uncheck Thursday because right now today is Thursday when I'm uh, recording this. Um, but I'm gonna do every Monday. And then for which packages? Right now, remember we have the test package that I created as well as the discovery call package that I created. So if I wanted this time frame to apply to both of those, then I would click all packages. If I only wanted this time frame to apply to this discovery call se se session, I would click selected packages and uh, click whichever one it applied to. So right now I'm just gonna use it for all packages and click save. And so now you can see that our, um, that our calendar has been updated to show that new 11 to 2, uh, 2 p.m. every Monday. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you was how to update your settings. So uh, your settings for these calls. So if we go back to our 
um, calendar or the link availability, you can see that um, I haven't updated it. I'm going back to the one we had before. Um, right now it's showing uh, just the Wednesday availability and then it has every 15 minutes uh, as the increment times. Now let's say you wanted it to not show 15 minute increments. Maybe you want it to be in 30 minute increments because if you're someone like me, I want things to be like right on the hour <laughs> or on the half hour. So if, if we're meeting at 10, I want to meet at 10, not necessarily 10, 15, or I want to meet at 10, 30, not 10, 45. You know, that just throws me off completely. So um, if you want to change that, then all we have to do is go to your upper right hand corner where um, it has my initial CJ, which you can also change that to be your picture. You're going to click on settings and then you're going to click on scheduling settings over here on the left hand side. And when you click on scheduling settings, then that's where you can change the appointment settings, which shows that 15 minute increments. So I'm going to change this to 30 minutes. You can also set a time, an appointment time gap. So if you don't want your calls to be booked back to back to back, so let's say someone booked you at from 10 to 10.30, the next person is not gonna be able to book from 10.30 to 10.40. They'll have to take the appointment that comes after that versus if you didn't have a time gap, then your appointment would go from 10 to 10.30 and then the next call could potentially start from 10.30 to 11. Hopefully that makes sense. So we can leave the appointment gap there. Minimum day, minimum notice. This is super important. Um, so that way you're not accidentally uh, booking and you didn't mean to book. Um, so, or actually I take that back. This is super important because if you are someone who doesn't necessarily like same day appointments being made, because that can just be chaos, <laughs> you definitely want to set this to um, one day or multiple days in order to give you that lead time that you might need. And the future limit is where you're going to say, okay, this is the furthest out that someone can book a call with me. So it defaults to the two months, but you can set this to one month um, or more. Uh, personally, I think one to two months is generous. <laughs> so I wouldn't go any further out than that. So that way it just doesn't cause any problems with your, you know, any plans changing in the future for you. And then the cancellation notice defaults to 24 hours. So people will be required to give you a 24 hour notice that they're no longer available. So then we're going to click save. And so let's go ahead and go back to packages, take a look at that free discovery call session. And I'm going to click on sharing again. And I'm going to preview the scheduling link again to see there we go. It updated. So it's now showing Monday and Wednesday for my availability. And now everything is on a 30 minute increment. Now, in addition to that individual scheduling link, you once you start creating your packages, you also have the option to sending someone to your shop link. So your shop link, which is right here, is going to list all of the packages or discovery call you know, freebies that you have to offer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on preview. And so right, mine, right now mine doesn't look super pretty because I didn't add any pictures um, to these packages, but this is awesome because when you send someone this link, um, they're gonna be able to see all the things you offer. Hey coach, Shade here, and I'm editing this video and realized I wanted to show you an actual shop page that's been branded and looks amazing and beautiful. So here is a sample page where you can include your brand logo, your tagline, and then here are all of the example packages that um, you possibly can have on your shop page. You can have as many as you want. And when someone wants to book a session with you or book a subscription or whatever you're selling on this shop page, all they have to do is click learn more. And that takes them to the little mini sales page and gives them a button to book now. And if it's a paid session, then they're going to be taken to a payment link. And if it's for free, then they just book the call with you and you're good to go. So if we go to 
landing page, then click out, click on modify. This is where you would be able to add your cover image as well as some teaser overview copy, the full description of the, um, of the package and then any bullet points about it. So once you add that image, then that's when it's gonna show up over here and look amazing and beautiful on your new landing page. And mind you, this is all without having to have a website. So you're probably wondering, okay, once they book a call, how do I actually connect with them? And the answer to that is you can meet on Zoom. So to integrate or to connect Zoom with Paperbell, what you're going to do is go up to your upper right hand corner, click on your initials or your picture, click on settings. And then you're gonna go to scheduling settings and right here you have your meeting room settings. And so what you want to, there's a couple different options here, but uh, I definitely recommend going with Zoom. And once you click Zoom from the drop down, you it's gonna say no account connected. So you're just gonna click on this link right here to connect Zoom, and then it'll take you to another window to go ahead and you know enter your password and all that. Then you come back and save and you're good to go. So. Once someone books, they'll automatically be sent an individual Zoom link to um, meet with you and that gets emailed to them automatically. So when the time comes, they just click on that link and you're both in your meeting room together. So remember I said that there are a couple perks that come along with using my affiliate link to sign up with Paperbell. Well, here they are, there's two of them. So the first one is that when you use my link, you'll gain access to my client onboarding planner. This planner has over 20 pages and will guide you step-by-step -step through creating your client onboarding experience. So if you've been signing on clients, but it's been a little chaotic because you don't have a system in place for this, then this planner is for you. You'll go from feeling totally overwhelmed and doing all the things, all the tasks manually to creating a system that is seamless and as automated as possible. So that way every client has the same VIP experience that you want them to have. So to get access to the client onboarding planner, there's two steps you need to take. First, you're going to go ahead and sign up with Paperbell using my affiliate link, which you'll find in the description. And if you've visited Paperbell in the past, you'll want to make sure that you visit my link using an incognito window. You can do this using the Chrome browser on your computer. So this will make sure that even though you've visited that link in the past, your account will be attached to my affiliate link. The second step that you'll wanna take is I've created a form that you need to complete. That link is also in the description and you're just gonna tell me your name and the email address that you use to sign up with Paperbell. Hit submit, it'll get sent over to me, I'll verify that everything matches and then I'll go ahead and send over that planner to you. And that's it. Those are the two steps you have to take and you'll get access to that planner. The other perk that you'll receive is access to my exclusive Paperbell Facebook group. This is where you can ask all of your Paperbell questions and get guidance and feedback from me whenever you need it. So go ahead to the link in the description. I feel like I keep saying that a lot, but everything's in the description, okay? <laughs> go to the Facebook group link in the description, request to join, answer the membership questions, and I will let you in. If you have any questions about the perks or the tutorial that we just went through, be sure to leave them in the comments and I will answer them. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I will see you for the next one. Bye.